This is my horses helping human safety video. Um, as you can see, all horses are tied safely and separately, so there's a good um, distance between them all. Horses have uh, horses are prey animals, so they can tend to be a little bit of a scaredy cats. They all have um, different personalities, so it's very important, regardless of their actual personalities, that we approach them with a calm, consistent disposition and um, with flowing movements. Horses can be easily startled if there was a, tree, a branch that was to fall out of the tree or um, a bird to suddenly fly over, they can, they can startle easily. Um, so it's, it's best to adopt very good safe practices whenever you're around horses. Um, horses, horses have a blind spot. They have very, very good vision, but they actually have a blind spot directly behind them. So if you can see there, I can see Sequoia's eye. And you can see here, we can't see Sequoia's eyes. So that means Sequoia can't see us when we're standing directly behind her. So I'll walk in and I'll explain to you um, what we call the horseman's handshake, which is an appropriate way um, and a non-threatening way to approach a horse. So you always approach a horse towards the front, um, towards the shoulder. You can put your hand out and just let them, just let them sniff your hand. You can see that there. She's comfortable, she's relaxed. Then you approach and with the back of your hand, just rub them on the shoulder. I forgot to mention with the with the handshake that you actually approach with the back of your hand, you don't, not with your fingers, because your fingers might look a bit more like a carrot, they might treat it like a carrot. <laughs> Just observe here, this is our tying system, our lovely safety ties, um, a really lovely safe system for tying up horses. It's very important to have um, self-awareness and personal space when you're working with horses. Some horses, depending on their personality type, some horses want to keep a bit of a distance from you. Some horses want to be right there with you. But it's very important that you as, as the handler show leadership in this situation and you determine where the horse puts their feet and you're mindful of where your feet are in relation to the horse as well. So having a little bit of personal space around you is very, very important. You can see that bit of energy I was projecting there. She, <laughs> she took a little bit of a step back, um, which is what you can do if, if they are a little too close to you. You can just use the jiggle of your rope and a little bit of energy to get them to take a little a step back away from you so that they're comfortable to stand at a safe distance. I'm just going to show you that now. Just wait till we get her attention. Now, she's coming into me and a little jiggle of the rope will ask her to stop. Another little jiggle of the rope will actually ask her to step away. Those couple of extra steps. Okay, we're just going to have a quick chat about rope safety. Um, Horses are quite big animals and they can startle. If they were, if one was to startle when you're handling it, uh, they could jump away from you, they could run away from the situation. So it is very, very important to have um, good safety practices when you're handling horses with your ropes. So the number one thing is never ever wrap that rope around your arm, put the rope around your neck, or any other body parts. If the horse was to startle, you could get caught up and no one wants that to happen. The other thing that you need to be mindful of is the tail of the rope. So always have the rope held in a very safe way. Larger loops are much safer than tiny little small loops. And the tail of the rope, make sure it's not just lagging on the ground because that could form a trip hazard. You don't want that to happen. If a horse was to startle, all of our horses um, are trained really, really well so that if, if you did feel the need to drop the rope, that is okay too. So I'm just going to show you, show you a demonstration of dropping the rope. There we are. 
she's nice and calm she hasn't gone anywhere this is called a carrot stick and um, can be used as a training aid with horses it's like an extension of your ropes it's a little tool that we do use um, it enables us to extend our bodies so it turns us from a human form which is upright upright or into a horse form so we have a much longer body so we can use the length of that carrot stick to direct energy to certain places on the horse to increase and decrease energy so but it's very very important that the horse is comfortable with using these in the first place so um, we play a game that's just really friendly uh, just to make sure the horse isn't worried about us carrying a stick so you can use it as a you can use it just to rub the horse. They really don't mind that at all. You've got to be very, very aware that if you're not engaging them and engaging energy and projecting energy with the stick, that the stick is in a neutral stance. So you don't want to be approaching a horse. I'll just give you a little demonstration. You don't want to be approaching the horse, waving your stick around because you're going to be giving messages that you really don't mean to be sending. So when you do approach with your stick, it's very important that this stick does have a neutral stance so that you're not giving messages that you don't realize you're giving.